<laughs> I got I got an interesting topic. An interesting topic. I think this might fall under Ragnar's alley. You know, I thought if anything, he was gonna be passionate about talking about this this specific topic. And that's these lab workers. You know, we we actually get more of a we get more of a deeper scene with the lab the lab workers because up to now they just seem like they were just maybe props in the the arc, right? Like they seem like maybe they were just like maybe and I thought maybe they were like androids. They were just androids that just worked in the lab or whatever. But they seem like actual people, right? People with nor just normal people that just they there to work, right? But it's it's like bro. Vegapunk is like, hey, I'm trying to bail from this island because all this this heat's about to come to the island. But we never see him sit there and show any concern for these these uh, lab workers. Like, what's up with that? Why he not saying, hey, I gotta I gotta uh, evacuate my people that are working here? No, it's just like, hey, Straw Hats, get me off this island. Let's go, let's go. I'm I'm ready to go. Screw screw these guys. They could they could be here for whatever's to come. I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to bail. <laughs> So, <laughs> so, <laughs> like, yeah. what is, is, is this like a sign of Vegapunk's character? Like, is this, th should this be looked at as an indictment on Vegapunk's character? The fact that these lab workers are just, just citizens or just people, right? It's just trying to make a living and Vegapunk is just like, Screw you guys! I'm going home. Like, <laughs> honestly, I really don't know. Like, like you said, it could be like workers, but it could also be like inventions, as we see with the sea creatures. Like, most likely, mm -hmm. like he cloned, like, uh, like, uh, sort of like, like Santa's workshop, his very own elves that are uh, that are that are powered by the the factory itself. I don't know, but uh, but again, if every scientist in One Piece, the chopper included, has shown a a dark moment or a dark aspect to their science though, in their terms of research. So I wouldn't be shocked that it might be like Vegapunk's dark side where he uses, you know, like a, a man labor. Yeah. So do you think he don't really care about these people though? Is it like a, I don't know because it, because it, either he has this side of him where he actually doesn't care. He's only cares about the science. And that's, uh, I wouldn't be shocked because that's scientists, scientists in One Piece have, to, have shown to be very extreme in their love for science and what they're willing to do. Uh, but uh, also, it could also be the thing that they're basically like, he doesn't consider them as more like creations. They have a job to do, like, you know, they're part of the system, you know, like they're workers. Mm -hmm. They clone like Pacifica workers. So you know? he just looks at them like not, like less than human almost? Yeah, like they're they're here for a task. So wouldn't that wouldn't that be an indictment on his character though? That oh, he sure, that he sure. doesn't like care the, about like, these. He just look at these people as like lesser beings, like nothing but slaves almost. Yeah, for sure, I could see that because it's a scientist in one piece. We just because he's friendly does not mean that he he doesn't have a dark side. Yeah. What he's willing to do for science, we yeah. all show that that aspect. All right, all right. Uh, I'm, I I want to save Ragnar for last, you know, because I feel as though he going. <laughs> I know I know I know he waiting to get that juice, so we gonna move on. We gonna go to Angel. What's up, Angel? Like, <laughs> is uh. I mean, to me, I'm wanting to leave and not caring about his workers. I mean, to me, it's not that surprising because, like, if you look at his reaction to Ohara, he seemed to be apathetic about the situation like he didn't seem to care about it it seems like he only went there to pay clover respect and that's all so i'm not that surprised Nah. so you just you just think like you already kind of think less of vegapunk as far as his moral compass so it's just kind of like that that does that like support that idea that he's just morally just a little not there I mean, I don't know. I don't know what he's... I don't know. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's probably how he thinks, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Ragnar. Yeah. All right, Ragnar. What up? What up? I know... Is, is this... I know you I know you probably have a resume of things about 
Vegapunk or why he's, you know, not what he's cracking, what we, what he's like sold to be, right? So is this, is this like something we adding on to that resume? Is it something that we like, hey, Vegapunk's. This Vegapunk. is just proof in the pudding for me. The, the, the cake was already made and this is just extra filling. Stuff. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Vegapunk has always been this kind of dude, always ready to abandon ship. Why? Because of his devil fruit, regardless of how genius you are. Because remember, Vegapunk probably used his fame as a great scientist and a great researcher. Keep in mind, Vegapunk did have AIDS, not just not just um Caesar, he had a many AIDS on the island of Punk Hazard, right? Before it was called Punk Hazard. Yeah. So when he left that island, he probably took those AIDS with him to mm. Egghead Island. So <laughs> what you're seeing right now are probably new and old researchers that went to Vegapunk because they thought he was the number one smart man in the world, the number one scientist, the number one developer, the number one researcher, just to be betrayed, yeah. left behind, mistreated, not appreciated, <laughs> like he did with Caesar, like he did with Judge, like he did with Queen. That's yeah. what you're seeing right now. You're seeing That's his true character. You're seeing him without the no me, no me, no me affecting him. You're seeing him without his greed. Because just remember, this is, just keep this in mind, right? Vegapunk got rid of his greed. He got rid of his avarice, which is Lilith. Mm -hmm. He got rid of his anger. He got rid of all these things, all of these desires and, and wasted thoughts. He got rid of it. So all you're seeing right now is just plain who Vegapunk truly is. And what he is, is a traitor. Hey, Cube has a question <laughs> for what you. What he just did? He betrayed himself. Dude. Uh, I have a question, Ragnar. Cube has a Should question for you, Ragnar. Yeah, just, just to clarify. When you said Vegapunk has AIDS, you mean you mean as comrades, <laughs> as colleagues, right? It, it means, yeah, no, no. It, it means AIDS, help. There's two types of AIDS. <laughs> AIDS yeah, yeah. Are, that's that's I was laughing. Because the way you said it, it, at first I thought you said you were sick. At, at first, no, I thought no, that no. too. At first, I thought that too. But then, in the context, it, it, like as he kept talking, uh, I I understood can, the context. You can use that as a short. You can use that as a short. That's a perfect short for you. <laughs> so, uh, I met Vegapunk has researchers with him. Just to be clear. Oh yeah, yeah. I I, I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, if I, if I wants to go into it, go ahead, Angel. What was you going to ask? Or something? Um, no, I was just gonna say I thought the same thing at first. I was so confused, but you know, yeah. I realized. Yeah. I just want you guys to remember Sentomaru and the cost of his life said Straw Hat, please, please say Vegapunk. And Vegapunk, Vegapunk did said, Straw Hat. Vegapunk take did me manipulate away. Sent Tomorrow to go die though. <laughs> <laughs> he, did, he, did. he did. I was like, that is so weird. Yo, he really, he really... looked at Sin tomorrow and said, Remember who raised you? Remember who took you off those filthy streets Yo, and he, brought you up? He gets like yeah. hell out of Sin tomorrow. Yeah, that was that... gaslighting at its finest. And, and you know what's yeah, funny? Is... I'm telling you, that's who Vegapunk is. That's his true character. All the satellites removed. Vegapunk's like all the wasted thoughts and desires are gone. So what you're seeing as Vegapunk as this goofy old dude that doesn't care about his aides, that doesn't care about his allies, doesn't care about his satellites. That's who Vegapunk is. And you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Like all this is going on on the island, right? And these these uh people, these lab workers or whatever you want to call them, you know, whatever you want to consider them citizens, whatever. They had no idea of anything. They're like clueless. Like nobody could like, hey, like since tomorrow, right? Since tomorrow had to be the one to sit there and say, look, here's what's going down. Like y'all got to get out. Stuff's about, to, stuff's about to pop. 
all this stuff. Vegapunk, you know, like, I, f- I feel as though Vegapunk should have been responsible enough to maybe give some type of something on, like, an intercom. I'm pretty sure they got, like, an intercom system right. or something. Where they to do. Get, get you messages across. Yeah, 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 you're right. So, Vegapunk should have been like, hey, evacuate. Evacuate the island. Leave. You know, but there's no evacuation that happened. These 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 guys are just standing around twiddling their thumbs, wonder waiting waiting to see you know what they need to do. What, what's all this racket going on in the on the on the island? Like what's going on? You know, no, they're just all in the dark. Nobody <laughs> telling them to leave. You know, like usually when when you work somewhere and something happens, there's usually some type of evacuation order to go out just so people could leave and get away from the danger. None of that. None of that. I mean, to me, the funny thing. I'll let like you go the, next, Rox. I, I wouldn't. I'll let you go I wouldn't next, say this is, I, would, I wouldn't say this is funny, but the interesting thing to me is like how Ragnar talks about the other personalities, or not personal personality traits, is the fact that none of them even do it too. Uh, you're wrong, because what? we saw Pythagoras. What did Pythagoras do first? Let me explain what Pythagoras did first. Pythagoras said first, let me de-escalate the situation. Hey, CP0, thank you for bringing Seraphim Kuma here, Sir S. Bear. I appreciate you bringing him here. But can you just let him off right there and go away? You know what Lily said? No, guess what Lily said? You trying to get the smoke? Pull up! I got the glizzy. Pull up! We got the smoke for you. We got the sharks. We got the robots. We got the guns. We ready for you. Pull up. But what did Shaka say? Hey, hey, Lilith, um, I don't think you realize that those are the straw hats. We can't mess with them. In other words, in Shaka's mind, as long as it's somebody we can't mess with, don't mess with them. But if it's somebody we can mess with, it's fine. Why? Because she's the decisive one. And you have to remember, they're separated based on Vegapunk's natural intent. He, he cut his brain up into di- you you remember Vegapunk explained it. These are all me. They represent the different parts of me. They are individuals by their own right, but they are still me. No, no bro, I'm trying to say that the fact that none of them told people to evacuate. That's what I was saying. No, no, yeah. Shaka thought they were still safe. You actually saw the chapter. Shaka oh. said, well, P- well, Pythagoras looked at Shaka and said, Pythagoras, the shields are up, but CP0 has gotten in. And she said, no. She said, no, way! don't tell me they got in. So in her mind, there is no way they could have gotten in until Pythagoras told them. And what we're seeing right now is still minutes after the fact. Not an hour, not a day, minutes after the fact. So Shaka, in her mind, before they got in, thought there's no way they could get in. It's impossible for them to get in. Uh, and then Pythagoras said, hey, they got in. Yeah. Uh, Rox, did That's you have... That's what happened. Rox, did you have something? No, I, I, look, I, this is... Hold on, hold on, hold on, Angel. Uh, I want to let Rox go, because he... I think, I he's think been trying there to say was something. an activation or, like, a protocol when, like, those... Uh, those uh, Mark V pacifistas were deployed. It should imply some evacuation because there's some takeover or hazard. But the people didn't know any about what anything was going on, so it wasn't clear to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's, it, it's it's we could think that the the Mark Three's going out should have been like a, a a warning or something, but. They they wasn't clear on what's going on, you know what I'm saying, and and nobody took the time to clarify to them that they need to leave. Oh, yeah. Like that's what I'm saying, you know, like you, can't, you know, like when you go to a job, they don't just leave you with vague, you know, they're not supposed to leave you with like vague stuff to to like vague warnings for stuff. They gotta give you clear, concise warning. If if some if people need to leave, they need to tell you to evacuate, not have you figure it out for yourself. You know what I mean? That's kind of what. They've been left in the dark this whole time because they getting this, they getting all this stuff from Sin Tomorrow's. It's not Sin Tomorrow's job. I mean, maybe it is, but you know, they just got the gist of it. Or 
not mm. just that, but to be fair to them, this, this is happening as we speak. This is like by second. I want you guys to understand these panels are not happening over the course of hours. They're happening by the minute, by the second. Shaka finds out they broke in. Then she finds out there's an explosion. It happens back to back. You might not see it happen panel to panel, but this happens back to back. There is no time to warn the citizens. There is no time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. I disagree with that completely. I just, Shaka, Shaka no, literally, what, Shaka literally walked from the, la- the, 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 the lab part that he was at with, with Luffy and them all the way to the basement. To find Vega Stella, you telling me the explosion you, attack Pythagoras. You telling me that you telling me at no point, at no point he could have gave some type of evacuation order. You telling me at no point when when the straw hats when the straw hats were all in the same lab area and then they all decide to go look for Vegapunk and there's been some time had to elapse between then then and where they are now. You're telling me at no point that they couldn't give some type of alarm to that that would notify the citizens to evacuate they had time to get from point a to point b or wherever they each group went right shaka had enough time to get from the the uh the what floor he was on like the the top floor or whatever all the way to the the, the basement i mean maybe he took an elevator yeah. or whatever i'm not saying i'm not saying you know because we didn't see the whole journey but you telling me that there's not at one point nobody could have gave sound an alarm to, even if this was five what? minutes, it's still time to sound <laughs> some type of evacuation. You, uh, I'll give you two minutes. If all this happened hey, within a two-minute span, a, 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 a evacuation order could have still been given <laughs> within this two minutes. Guess what? I, 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 I okay. refuse. I refuse Love to agree. I refuse no, no, I, I to acknowledge you. what you just well, said, right? <laughs> I'll make some. No, hold on, hold on. Let me let let Angel go. Let Angel go because he's because I've been trying to talk about this for a while. Is it's it's the fact that we see them having a little lunch break, packing break, and Shaka is on the computers, and not once in this moment where he's on the computers and everyone is relaxing, waiting for Vegapunk, does he think about? Telling the people to evacuate. Nothing is happening right now. The only person who's trying to protect the people right now is Sentamaru telling the March threes to go uh go to the sea. Objection. Go ahead, Ragnar. Literally, we saw the smallest Vegapunk risk her life to defend the citizens. Literally. That's what she did. And Shaka said, no, we can't save them right now. That's the truth. Because if they've already been seen by CP0, if CP0 is already inside, you have to assume Shaka, remember, she's the decisive one. That's what she makes decisions instantly. That's her thing. She already deduced the fact that we can't save those people right now. We not, if we try I'm not, to save I'm not those asking, people, I'm not asking. Time. I'm not asking them to save those people. I'm asking them to give them the opportunity to be able to save themselves. But you see, at the time, we what? remember she was looking at the, the screen. Because remember, I told you, Pythagoras said, "Bro, they already got in." Bro, none of that. None right of that. None of that, none of that holds any weight, bro. You can still let. You can still let them know that there's like stuff is happening on the island. Right, like it, it, it's it's not like all this is going on in one second, bro. It's it's been it's it's uh, yes, sure, all this is, is might not have been hours. You could say this has been minutes, but you can't. You it's nothing you could really say that could that that could convince me that they didn't have enough. They they couldn't have took one. They couldn't have took thirty seconds to get on the intercom and tell the people. To evacuate, you, you, I, I refuse to, I refuse to accept that they had absolutely no time to. What is to to, 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 to notify said, these people? Hundred ships. Sentamaru said we're surrounded by hundred ships. And Sentamaru was also to? telling them to get around, get get off the island. Yes, were, with the, a Yanko, bro. The ships, Sentamaru bro, is telling the a Yanko. What do you understand? What I'm saying. 
Saint Tomorrow is telling a young Cole, hey, get off the island with the Vector. Bro, the ships weren't Why even there. Why is Saint Tomorrow the time, telling Yonko to do that? The ships Unless weren't even there. Yonko? The ships weren't there. The ships have not the ships aren't even there yet. What are you talking about? They last we heard they are they are going to Wait till you get, get down in the chapter, bro. You're, you're tell, your let me let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. This, you you yeah. telling me from the time that CP0 showed up and started starting yeah. all this stuff that they yeah. couldn't have done some type of protocol to make sure to ensure the safety of the citizens. From the time that CP0 been on this island for a while, like it's there's been a lot of steps that happened. To get from from the time that CP Zero got to the island to the time that now they're fighting these seraphim, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of steps in between, a lot of chaos that CP Zero has been causing, a lot of chaos that the seraphim been causing within this freaking span, and not once have they have they done anything to to try to ensure their workers' safety CP by at least saying like, hey, go threat. go somewhere safe. Evacuate something. CP zero was not the threat, blub. The threat wasn't CP zero. Bro, this, the threat is the fact what, that what things are exploding. What did we see when CP zero pulled up? Bro, what, what did we th- see when no, CP zero pulled up? Ragnar, let me say this: It's not about the CP zero being the threat. They're causing chaos, which can hurt people. Like if I agree if, with you. if if the ser- if if I mean, come on, like when they when they started, we had all these explosions and stuff. CP zero when they showed up, they was causing chaos. People could have got hurt. As that's as not some, true. As somebody, as your supervisor, if there's people attacking your lab, right, even if they're not targeting the citizens, that can still leave the citizens in danger. <laughs> you gotta evacuate them, get get them somewhere safe, something. What 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 did we see when CP zero came on the land? Even when they got past the island barrier, what did Stuffy say to them directly? Even though we got past the barrier, we still can't invade. Because Vegapunk's defense, the soon as you go in, laser beam. That's literally what she said herself. It's impossible to break through these laser beam defenses. That remember that? No, okay. Remember that? that, I, that, that I'm, I'm reading this. It says this is what happened. Shaka mm-hmm. says, Shaka says, evacuate the researchers and workers. Atlas, make your way back to the lab. So. Yeah. Hey yo. Well, no, no. The He's thing right. is, the thing when is, Angel, that is at, no, CP0. No, Angel, fair, that is no. That is after they right broke not. through the second right layer of defense that they didn't. No, that's, break. no, no, no. That's still they're still down. Ragnar. CP0 just reached the island. Ragnar. Before CP0 just reached the island. B- before CP0, Ragnar. when CP0 showed up, right? Before they was able to get past the defenses, right? That little area they were in was where the citizens were. The citizens weren't within the, the the barrier, if if I remember correctly, because they was they yeah, the C- CP zero was already there and there was a bunch of lab workers and they wasn't even where the barrier was actually protecting, so it's not like the I'll lab workers You're were. Right. The, it's not like the lab workers were trapped in this. You know what I'm saying? Like CP zero showed up, they started causing chaos because you know Vega Punk wasn't being, I guess forthcoming and he wasn't being cooperative. So they start causing chaos. That's when Luffy and 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 Relucci even had a, a a short scuffle, and this was before they actually went into the thing. And and this was around all those lab workers and stuff. All this chaos happening. You see, as as somebody as as a boss, if if I if I have if I have employees or yeah, employees, uh-huh. right? And I'm like, hey, it's a lot of chaos, like explosions and happen happening. I think I need to get my employees somewhere safe so they don't get caught up in this mess. Vegapunk hasn't hey. done not not at one point has Vegapunk been like, "Hey, we need to we need to figure out some something to keep the the people safe." Sure, they may not have been able to actually like directly help the citizens or whatever, like Lilith said or whatever, but they could have told the citizens like, "Hey, here's what's going on. Y'all need to go somewhere safe." You know, like we can't help y'all at the moment, so y'all gotta y'all gotta ensure your own safety. At, at the very least, they could at least give the the people a, a, a fighting chance to to pretty much look out for themselves. No, Vega Punk has Vega Punk has it like, and I'm talking to Stella. I'm not even talking about the other Vega Punk. Vega Punk hasn't yeah, yeah. once shown any 
Stella hasn't once con showed any concern about these citizens. And I'm kind of, it's, it's kind of weird that you're really going against me on this one. I'm giving you ammo uh, <laughs> to actually help your case against Vegapunk. It's, it's a little weird. I am but... never against the satellites, bro. <laughs> I'm only against uh, specifically Stella. Not Shaka, not Lilithan. I, I was like, specifically like talking about said, Stella, though. Angel trying to get them off the island. Not Angel. Shaka trying to get them off the island. The thing is, while they were retreating, something unexpected happened. And Pythagoras reported that to her. They got through the force field, Shaka. What? That's her, that was her reaction. It's impossible. She couldn't fathom it. She could like, how? How did they get past the force field? No one gets past the force field. And then Pat Legger said, look, look at the monitors. Then she looks on the monitors. What happens? Monitors are gone. No visuals. So she's no, in the no, unknown. No, no, no. He told them to evacuate before that happened. Who? But that's helping me. That's what I'm saying. That's helping me. But I know, I know, I know. I'm just, I know, I know. I'm just saying he, 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 he told them to do it as soon as he realized that CP0 was on the island. But that was so that was Shaka making the decision that was Shaka. needed. But guess what happens? The laser beam is supposed to be the second line of defense. That was supposed to be the safety guard even after the shield. But guess what happens? The laser beams go down. That's the worst part. It's not just the shield anymore. The laser beams. We forget about this. But Sussy was telling CP0, look, we can't get past those. No matter how skilled we are, we can't get past those. All right, all right, but it right. goes down. Right, it wasn't right, the right. trap tra tra that deactivated them. The what? The culprit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So whoever was inside let CP0 in to cause more chaos. Yeah. Yeah, we know that. It just... But all right, uh, Cube, you got anything to add? Because I know... <laughs> Hey, listen. You got any rebuttal? You got you got any rebuttal, Cube, or anything to add to to Ragnar? Anything to add to what I said? What's going on, with Cube? Uh, I am uh, speechless from uh, Ragnar's beautiful rant. So all good <laughs> on my end. <laughs> all right. Uh, anybody else? Uh, anybody else got anything um, to add about what these what Stella's been lacking? Or his One lack thing. of action. I what? think like Stella does what needs to be done, whether it's morally or immoral. Done as in what? Done for himself. Done immoral for, for... Be done for the betterment of people. Or or he also removed that part of him. No, I'm I'm asking you said you you said Stella does what needs to be done. Right, regardless if it's moral or immoral. I'm saying like yeah. done for who? Like done for the, the benefit of humanity, the done was he he does Maybe. what needs to be done for the be the betterment of himself or what? It really depends on his whim, or rather like what he considers, like that seventh part. Hmm. Okay. The seventh is stellar. Yeah. So just what, just to him, pretty much, what needs to be done to him, in his, in his opinion, I guess. 